It follows relies on two components to create tension, movement and distance. When our scene starts, everyone is still, like in a photograph. That's why the brunette walking towards the camera is immediately spotted. The protagonists, whose footsteps sound like a heartbeat to trigger stress in the viewer, are the cue for the music that sounds like a drop of water falling, as if there was a leak in a tap. The sounds convey the idea of repetition and dysfunction. Our first reflex at this point in the movie is to take note of every exit, to look for a place to flee. But the slow panning locks us up in an automatic movement, and low percussions begin when we realize that we're spinning again, while the brunette is approaching more and more at a constant pace. The main idea conveyed here by the camera movement and the music is the spiral. For you cannot escape from a spiral. It moves forward indefinitely, like the unstoppable monster following the characters. The most frightening at this point is the halt, since we find ourselves back to the alleged monster and cannot follow its moves anymore. We know that it is in our back, but the sadistic camera prevents us from keeping an eye on it. What's more, our field of view shrinks as the camera zooms in on the protagonist, unaware of the danger. Now, the suspense is maximal, as the encounter has been set up and should happen any time. Here, we observe the rule of three, not only used in comedies, but also in horror movies. The first panning sets up an expectation. We discover a suspicious situation in which the brunette could be the monster. The second panning reinforces the expectation as we get used to the process. We now strongly believe that the brunette is indeed the monster as she still comes forward in the same placid way and we expect her to meet the protagonist eventually. We are wary of her every move. But the third time breaks the expectation. The camera stops its cycle, and what we've been invited to focus on is now hidden. This creates an optimal tension. That tension suddenly drops as a jump cut brings us into the car. The music stops and our attention shifts to the internal drama, with reaction shots of the heroine's lover witnessing the affection between the driver and his own love interests. We think the threat has been evacuated for a while, as few of us notice that the brunette is still coming on in the blurry background. That's when the camera pulls focus on the brunette ahead. This simple shift of focus confirms that the girl was the monster and that the characters just avoided a fatal fate. Again, we turn our back on the threat and suspense can rise. Cut. <laughs> 